Hey, good morning guys, The Blogging Buddhist here, and this morning I would like to talk to you guys about something really cool that my karate club has currently started doing. Uh, but before I do that, do me a favor, hit the like button, click that follow and subscribe uh, button so that you can be part of my channel, and make sure to turn on all your notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Uh, so, I know the past year has been hard on everybody. Uh, the pandemic has really, really changed the way we do things. Uh, how we live our daily lives and there are a lot of things in fact that uh, I'll even admit myself that we we don't necessarily realize how much we took it for granted until we're no longer able to do it. One of those things is regularly attending karate class. Now I've been doing karate for over 32 years um, and I'm at a point where realistically I can train for long hours at a time by myself just doing form, shadow boxing, practicing techniques, doing drills, all of that stuff. I'm capable of doing those things on my own, but there's definitely something to be said for the dojo environment, for having other students there with you. There's an ambiance, there's an energy that's, that's created when you train with others, and that energy is necessary for your growth and your progression as a martial artist. So, what the karate club that I train with right now, the Regina Institute of Kempo Karate, uh, they've started doing something really cool. They've started using Zoom to have virtual karate classes. Uh, now we had our second one last night, which means we just completed our first week of doing this, and it's looking as though that's going to become a regular thing, at least until the world goes back to normal. Uh, it's fantastic. Obviously there are, there are some things lacking, like uh, a lot of the drills and the techniques that we practice and stuff we don't we don't get to practice them with a partner which can be somewhat problematic in some cases uh, but you know what we get to see everybody we get to see each other we get to train together and that's that's important that's particular and and it's nice because a lot of these folks I haven't seen them in almost a year ever since everything kind of went on lockdown and we closed out the dojo uh, so it's definitely a wonderful thing uh, it, it's cool. It's very cool and I don't know about you But I think everybody has had about all they can take of zoom meetings, especially if you're working from home um, You know everybody knows all the jokes about uh, Not being muted at the right time or your pets or your spouse or your children running around in their underwear in the background different things like that but uh, you know what having a virtual dojo using zoom uh, to have a karate class has worked surprisingly well uh, and, and it's it's an excellent way of using technology in a way that helps us uh, to do something very old and traditional so it's a great combination of the old and the new and yeah that's pretty much it just a little bit excited about it has been working out well uh, I, I've honestly really missed my Tuesday and Thursday nights being able to go to karate class seeing all the students seeing all the black belts training and getting a sweat on with others now we've kind of taken some of that back a little bit so that that's the good news uh, the bad news is if you all remember originally uh, they were predicting that you know 14 days of uh, self-isolation and this whole thing would go away well that was a year ago yesterday uh, yesterday was Saskatchewan's one-year anniversary of our first documented case of COVID-19 and everything pretty much just went to hell since then so it's not looking like there's any end in sight folks so the virtual environment now is pretty much one that we live in it's not like we haven't been doing things uh, virtually for a long time anyways things like uh, your banking online shopping uh, even doing your groceries and having them delivered now there's most things are done in a virtual environment so I think it was really just a matter of time before karate caught up to that trend and it started becoming part of the the virtual environment as well so that's it guys uh, that's all I got for you this morning uh, if you haven't done so already be sure to check out my main website at www.thebloggingbuddhist.com for daily content related to martial arts, Buddhism, fitness and health, and of course diabetes. I'll see you guys on the next one.